I've been very concerned lately about China. They're in Africa. They're they're lending money to countries to build ports and different to, infrastructure. To build what? Port. And harbors. what's wrong with that? And well, because countries that need ports <laughs> get ports. But they're making people dependent on. I mean, I know it's the same thing that we've done, which is no, it's not. All around the world, they are but. they are far more humanistic than the United States ever was. <laughs> really? Okay. Absolutely. Great. So. Let me give give you an okay. example. Of course, they are trying. They are peddling for in, for for influence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they are non-interventionist. Absolutely non-interventionist in a way that Europeans, the West, has never managed to fathom. The Chinese never asked Apple to go to Shenzhen and produce all the iPhones. It was um, Steve Jobs that decided that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, it was not China that um, went to Washington D.C. and demanded that they buy a third of your national debt. If they hadn't bought it, you would be in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the influence of China outside its borders, it's quite remarkable that they don't seem to have any military ambitions. Instead of going into Africa with troops, colonially, destroying the country, killing people like the West has done for the last hundred years, what they did was they went to Addis Ababa and they said to the government, we can see you have prob problems with your infrastructure, we would like to build some new airports, um, upgrade your railway system, create a telephone system and rebuild your roads and we'll do this all for, all for free. No strings attached. We don't want anything from you. And they did. Why did they do it? Because it's soft power. 